Now we are going to do the second subdivision solve using long form division. Solve using long form division. First we have seen the what? Short form division. Now we are going to see the long form division. Long form division. First sum a sum 56 is divided by 8. Long form division. First sum is 56 is going to divided by 8. Let's start the class. So, look at this number. So, this is 56 is going to divided by 8. So, I will write dividend. And this is a divisor. Okay. So, you must, you, you must say the 8th table. You must say the 8th table. First, you have to compare ones and tens that is what is now what is the number six ones and five tens that is five tens is called as 50 five tens and six ones you have to compare five and eight so five is compared with eight five tens is compared with eight that is five is compared with eight so five is less than eight is not enough to subtract so you have to move on to the next digit you are c that is place value is ones this is tens but you must compare only the numbers, not the place value. Okay, 5 is less than 8. So, you should not divide because 5 is not enough to what? 5 is not enough to divide by 8. 5 is not enough to divide by 8. 5 because 5 is less than 8. So, next number you have to take. That is, what is the next number? 6 you must take. So, that is 56. So, 56 you have to take. 56 is greater than 8. 56 is greater than 8. Okay. 56 is greater than 8. Okay. Greater than 8. Now you must say the 8th table up to 56. First you must say the 8th table up to 56. And sometime you must what? You must say the, you must write the or you must say or you must write the nearest value of the dividend nearest value of the dividend that means always that number should be less than what less than the dividend or below than the dividend or else almost equal to the dividend okay almost or equal to the dividend now you must say the eighth table so you know that eight ones are eight eight twos are you must say the table 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 8 threes are 24, 8 fours are 32, 8 fives are 40, 8 six are 48, 8 sevens are what? 56, 8 six are 48, 8 sevens are 56. Okay, that is 8 sevens are 56. So, 7 is a quotient. You must write the quotient on the top. Then you must write 56. 56 in the dividend place. Now you are going to subtract. So 6 minus 6, 0. 5 minus 5, 0. So not necessary. So reminder is you will just write only one time. Reminder is what? 0. This is what quotient and this is a reminder. So I told you left over number is always a reminder. So top number that is called as you must write it on the top. This is a quotient. Q U O T I E N T quotient. And this is a reminder. So don't forget the terms. As always, you must remem remember the term and memorize the term. So answer is for this question. Q is equal to 7 and R is equal to 0. So this is the right answer for the question. So solve the problem. So quotient is what? Q is equal to 7 and R is equal to 0. So, this is the answer for the what? A sum. Okay. Now, we are going to do the second sum. That is 81 is going to divide it by 9. Okay. 81 is going to divide it by 9. Okay. So, 81, 8 tens and 1 1. Okay. This is also this is double digit number this is a single digit number so 81 is going to divided by 9 so first you have to compare with what compare with 8 compare with 
8 is going to compare with 9, 8 and 9. So 8 is what? Less than 9. So that I've told you, you should not consider the place value. You have to consider only the numbers. Okay. So next you have to go to the next digit. You have to move on to the next digit. That is what is the number? You must add with this number. Now 81. 81 is greater than 9. So you must what? Now 81 is enough to divide. So you must what? Say the ninth table up to 81. So 9 table you must say. 9 ones are 9. 9 twos are 18. Otherwise, I will write it here. 9 ones are because a big table. Some children may know or may not know. 9 into 2, 18. And 9 into 3, that is 27. Okay. 9 into 4, that is 36. Okay. Then 9 into 5, that is 45. Okay. 9 into 6, 54. 9 into 7, 63. Okay. 9 into 8. Okay. 9 into 8, that is 72. Then 9, 9 are 81. Okay. This is the table. That is 9 into 10 also. I will write no issues. That is 90. But you should not write 90. Because I have told you already so you must write the number less than the dividend always or equal to the dividend so what is the number i have to write nine nines are 81 this is the right nine right answer so nine nines are 81 so 81 minus 81 can get zero so this is the what quotient and this is a reminder this is a dividend and this is a divisor divisor okay so the answer is that is quotient is 9 and reminder is 0 this is the right answer for the second question so i'll write the second answer second answer that is b question answer second subdivision b answer 81 is going to divide it by 9 that is quotient is 9 and reminder is and reminder is what? Zero. This is the right answer for the second question.